ladies, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, I'm gonna be getting adopted by Charlie D'Amelio and her family. Kenzie, Kenzie, did you see the news? Uh, I don't really watch the news. Why, Sky? What was on it? Charlie D'Amelio is doing a meet and greet this weekend. No way, are you being for real? Charlie D'Amelio is literally like my favorite TikToker. She taught me how to renegade. Look. Whoa, that was wicked! Guy, we literally have to go. Is it free? Uh, no it's not, Kenzie. She's charging $100 for us to see her. But the ticket does include a TikTok video with her. What the heck? $100? That's crazy talk. Does Charlie think us five-year-olds are made of money or something? I don't even have a job yet. I think she's expecting our parents to pay for it. Plus, she said she's donating all the money Charity is a good thing. Oh, okay. Well, I guess if she's donating it to charity, that makes it okay. But where the heck am I supposed to get $100 from? Let's just ask our moms after daycare. Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. Wait, but Sky, daycare's not over yet. We can't just leave. Well, do you want all the main great tickets to get sold out? Because I don't. Come on, let's go. Hey, where do you think you guys are going? Daycare's not over yet. Well, it is for us. We got more important things to do. See? You're doing home so early? Oh, uh, there is a fire at daycare, so they sent us home early. Oh, dear, a fire? Yeah, but they put it out already, so it's all good. Anyways, Mom, Charlie D'Amelio is coming to Brookhaven for a meet and greet, and I was wondering if you could give me $100 so I could go. Aw, of course, Sky. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks, Mom. Wow, that was easy. Hey, uh, Mrs. Sky's mom, do you mind calling my mom and convincing her to let me go, too? Oh, and make sure to tell her that Sky's going too. Oh, of course, Mackenzie. Anything for Sky's best friend. I'll go give her a call right now. Sweet, this is gonna be awesome. Later that night. All right, see you later, Sky. Let me know what your mom says. Of course, girly, I'll call you right after. Mackenzie Grace Turner. Uh oh, it's never a good thing when she says my full name. Uh, hi, mom. What's wrong? Sky's mom called. And can I go? Can I go? You purposely made Sky's mom call and ask if you could go to give me. She won't be mad at me anymore. I work 
worked an extra shift just to be able to afford it. I hope she appreciates it. Mackenzie, I have something for you. Hey, Kenzie, can I come in? I want to apologize for yesterday. And to make it up to you, I bought you a ticket to the meet and greet. <laughs> She can't still be sleeping, can she? It's already 12 o'clock. Mackenzie, are you in there? That's it. I'm going in. <gasps> Mackenzie, where are you? Oh, no. The balcony door is open. What if an intruder came in and stole her? This is bad. Really bad. I need to call the police. Meanwhile. Come on, Kenzie. The meet and greet is in here. Oh, my gosh. Look, that's Charlie and Emilio right there. Get it together, girly. You'll have plenty of time to see her later when you're her sister. But we're on a mission right now. Don't get distracted. Okay, okay, you're right. Look, the security guard is right there. You stay here while I distract him. Once the coast is clear, you'll sneak backstage through the back doors and into her car. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, Sky, good luck. Thanks, best friend. I'll see you later. Ah, Charlie, I love you. I'm your biggest fan. Ah! Hey, put Charlie down. No, I don't want to put her down. Okay, I think the coast is clear. I'm going to book it to the back door. Oh, my God. Charlie D'Amelio's car. Okay, I'm just gonna wait in here until the meet and greet is over and then Charlie will take me back to her house. Sorry for picking you up, Charlie. I guess you could say I'm a big fan. I'm gonna leave now, though. It was nice meeting you. Bye. Wow, Dad, that was an exhausting day. My stands are crazy. Come on, Charlie. Let's go home. Your mom and sister are waiting to have dinner with us. Okay, Dad, I'm starving. Dad, did you just fart? Because it's stinky in here. Uh, no, I didn't fart, Charlie. That's weird, because I didn't fart either. Oh my gosh, they didn't smell bad. I should really stop eating ice cream when I'm lactose intolerant, but it's just so good. All right, Charlie, we're home. Come on, the girls are waiting for us. Oh boy, I can't wait to tell Dixie about the meet and greet. Whoa, this is their house. It's huge. I can't wait to live in this mansion. Hey guys, I'm home. Charlie, come on, we're starving. We've been waiting for you guys. Sorry, girls. Traffic out there was crazy, but we're here now. Hey guys, what's up? Who the heck are you? Oh, I'm Mackenzie. I'm Charlie's big what are you doing here? Where are your parents? Well, since you asked, my mom abandoned me and I've been living on the streets. Oh, but I'll leave now if I'm causing you guys too much trouble. Wait, Dad, we should adopt her. This would be so good for our reputation. Imagine once the media learns that we adopted an abandoned child. Mark, she does have a point here. The D'Amelios will break the internet. You know, you guys are right. The only way we can take over those stupid Kardashians is by adding another member to the family. Hey, Mackenzie. Yeah? How would you like to live with us? Oh, boy, you really mean it. I would love to. Welcome to the family, Mackenzie D'Amelio. This is sick. Maybe I won't be the hated child anymore. No, Dixie, you're still the hated child. Oh, man. Sometimes I just want to be happy. Meanwhile. Well, the last time I spoke to Mackenzie, we were both mad at each other. I wish I could go back in time to tell her how much I love her. Ma'am, get it together. We aren't going to find your daughter if you keep acting like this. You're right, Mr. Police Officer Man, sir. All right, what do you need from me? Okay, who was your daughter with last? Well, other than me, she was with her best friend, Sky, the day before she disappeared. Best friend, you say? Yes, her best friend. Why do you ask? Well, from all the missing person cases I have worked in my life, the best friend is almost always involved in some way. <gasps> no, Sky is such a great girl. There's no way she was involved in my daughter's disappearance. That's what they all say. Where is this Sky person located? I want to do some questioning. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask her. She lives right next door to us. She should be home right now. I haven't told her about Mackenzie's disappearance yet, so please take it easy on her, all right? I promise. I'll take it easy on her. All right, well, have a great night, ma'am. We will find your daughter. Oh, hi there, Mr. Police Officer Man. Please, come in. Don't mind if I do. What can I with, sir? Is Sky home? She is a suspect in a crime. <gasps> no, my daughter a suspect? This can't be happening. Oh, it's happening all right. Now where is she? She's in her bedroom. I'll go grab her for you. No need. I'll go get her myself. I wonder how Kenzie's doing. She hasn't texted me yet. I'm sure she's having the time of her life though. FBI, open up! Huh? Guy, you are under arrest for your involvement in the disappearance of your best friend, Mackenzie. I'm taking you back to the station to interrogate you. I know nothing! You'll never get me to talk! My daughter's a criminal! The following day... Wow, that was the best sleep ever! This bed is so much better than the one I have at home! Being rich is awesome! Hello! Well, I guess they must be out. I'm just gonna get some breakfast and watch 
TV. Whoa, is this what a rich person's fridge looks like? I've never seen this much food in my life. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's go see what's on TV today. Mackenzie, what do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm just watching TV. No TV allowed. Get your butt over here and follow me. Okay, coming. Oh, hey, Charlie and Dixie. There you guys are. No talking. We're filming. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Mom. Mackenzie, this is the TikTok dungeon. If you want to live in this family, you have to make 100 TikToks a day before you can do anything else. Wait, 100 TikToks a day? I thought making TikToks was just for fun. Fun? You think we do this for fun? Oh, Mackenzie, you have a lot to learn. Mom, can we stop, please? I just want to go and make music. Quiet, Dixie. Your music career is a joke. It's going nowhere. Now stop complaining and make your TikToks. Ugh, okay, fine, Mom. Mackenzie, what are you doing just standing there? You better get going or you'll be here all day. I don't even know how to make a TikTok. I've never made one in my life. Well, if you want to be a Demilio, you better learn. Oh man, okay. Approximately 10 hours later. Phew, thank goodness. We finally finished making all of our TikToks. Can we finally go and have fun? Fun? We don't have time to have fun in this family. Yeah, Mom and Dad make us work all day. How else do you think we can afford this mansion. Wait, you guys pay for this mansion? Yeah, our parents don't do any work. All the money we make goes to them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not fair. Yup, get used to it, Mackenzie. Life isn't fair. Come on, guys. Let's go upstairs and see what Mom and Dad want us to do next. Mom, Dad, we finished making our TikToks for the day. What would you like us to do next? Hmm, Charlie, I want you to go and make 10 YouTube videos. And Dixie, you can go and make your silly music now. And Mackenzie, why don't you go join Charlie in her YouTube videos? She can give you some clout. Can we go get some ice cream first? I am starving. Ice cream? We don't eat ice cream in the D'Amelio family. We only feed our children spinach so they stay fit. Wait, no ice cream? My old mom used to take me to get me ice cream every day. Yeah, well, your old mom abandoned you and she isn't rich like us. You're in a better place now. My mom taught me that money isn't everything. Yeah, money isn't everything. It's the only thing. Now get to work. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's go make a YouTube video. Uh, okay. Hey, cuties. Once and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a special guest with me. My new adopted sister, Mackenzie. Say hi, Mackenzie. Hi, YouTube. Great work, Mackenzie. Let's take a break now. Our intro's all done. Do you think you can go downstairs and get me some water? I'm so thirsty from all this talking. later. Mom! Mackenzie! Oh my gosh! Where have you been? You had me worried sick! It's a long story, Mom. I'll tell you about it later. I'm so, so sorry for causing you all this stress. I'll never leave without telling you ever again. If you want to ground me for forever, that's fine. I deserve it. No, Mackenzie! I'm not gonna ground you. I'm sorry, too, for being mean to you. I should have treated you better. I got you those meet and greet tickets, by the way. But I guess you can't use them now since the meet and greet is over. I Sorry you couldn't meet Charlie D'Amelio. I know you were her biggest fan. Oh, <laughs> darn it. It's okay. Maybe I'll meet her another time. Come on, Kenzie. Let's go get some ice cream. Yay, ice cream. Meanwhile. Hello? Is anyone there? Can I go home now? So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven role-playing video you guys want to see me do next. And congratulations to Lee.
be a dialer for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment down.